Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some of Eva's Haleto Artisanal. I have the Dulce de Leche. And I have the Chocolate Caramel and Cookies. These were sent to us free from uh, the PR company that represents Eva's. So Eva's is actually, um, it's McConnell's, uh, they're in partnership with McConnell's Fine Ice Creams in California. And uh, so these are made at McConnell's Fine Ice Creams in California. So the uh, Dulce de Leche is a traditional Central and South American recipe of sweetened milk. Uh, cooked down to a deep caramel and swirled into uh, Kataja infused sweet cream ice cream. Um, it is two thirds cup, 109 grams is 240 calories. Or you can eat the entire container for 620 calories. There's two and a half servings in here. So this is a 14 ounce container. It's not a pint. It's not a full pint. It's close. So it's cl quite. close, but not quite. That's why it's 620 calories because you're not getting a full pint. Okay, so we have had these laying out for about 10 minutes. That's so that it makes it easier for us to scoop. So when you have it at your house, you uh, can do what you want. Do what you want with it. <laughs> so I'm seeing pockets of, yeah. of caramel. I would call that a swirl. Yes. Well, this is like a little. Dab, yeah, like but little, then there is definitely a swirl. Absolutely. I'm gonna try some without the caramel. Oh, that's a good idea. Just the ice cream. Yeah. Well, I still got caramel. Huh. Wow. That flavor is in. Oh yeah. When you were. when you just get the ice cream, which I did, that flavor is still in there. Mm. See what this is a thick. It's very thick. Dense ice cream. Yes, it's very very creamy. It almost, not quite, but it's almost as thick as like a custard. Mm -hmm. It reminds me a lot of custard. But it's not, it's not quite there, but it's, it's reminds you a lot of it. It's very, it very uh, it's more of a dense it. ice cream. Mm -hmm. I love the flavor though. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Super, I mean, super sweet. Mm -hmm. It's funny too though. It's slightly different than just like a caramel sauce. The flavors are just slightly different than just a true caramel. Yes, because it has more of a cooked flavor. Yeah. It tastes cooked. It, mm -hmm. um, but but very sweet. It's incredibly sweet. It's very rich and thick and creamy. And truly, it does more remind me of custard than mm -hmm. ice cream. Yeah. And to me, it's, it's on the custard end uh, because it is so thick. Yeah. But very sweet as, and delicious. It's almost as thick as like a marshmallow cream. It's not as sticky or anything, but it's almost... Like the, if you stick a spoon in marshmallow cream, it's kind of got that consistency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I it's absolutely good. think it's delicious though, and could eat the entire container. Oh yeah, very quickly, yeah. no problem. This would be a take on the couch with the whole thing. Yes, <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. No well, doubt about and it. especially when there there it is fourteen ounces, then there there's none for lighter. For, at least for us, there wouldn't be any. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a split a tub kind of person. No. This is the chocolate caramel and cookies, and it says uh, deliciously South American, a traditional um, affajour transformed dark chocolate ice cream, mm. a caramel swirl, and delicate vanilla shortbread cookie pieces. So the dark chocolate. Okay. Oh yes, but you do it's see. Pretty dark. You do see. Look at that the caramel. caramel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you'll still get it once I do this. Well, it's gonna really soft That's around okay. the edges. Okay. Like Hank said, we have to have this setting yeah, out. Yeah, it just makes it so easier it for healthy. us when we do the review. It makes it easier for us to scoop out. Almost looks like a mudslide, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. I got a I lot of caramel. I don't think I'll be able to. The chocolate's a very rich dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Not bitter, just, just very rich. I mean, when I push my spoon on one side, it wants to actually flip over like an iceberg. That's how thick it is. Hmm. Do you get a cookie? 
Um, I got something that was a little dense. I mean, that's the cookie. But but I didn't get. But I mean, just hardly. Oh, okay. Thank you, because I don't think I got a lot of that. Um, I got one big hunk. Mm, um, mm -mm. I hadn't gotten okay. that. Okay. Um, that's. I like the ice cream. It tastes so um, different than I was expecting. Yes. Because that chocolate is not a traditional like chocolate flavor. No. It's different. So what would you compare that chocolate to? Mmm. Because it's not like baking cocoa. It's not like that kind of flavor. It's not like a candy bar chocolate. No. It's not like Mexican chocolate where it's chocolate with cinnamon. It's nothing no. like that. Um, to me, it's, it's very more different. like a rich chocolate milk. I could see that, like a souped up, fancied up chocolate milk. Yes, that's what it tastes like. So it doesn't taste Maybe like... Maybe it's been even cooked a little bit and boiled and then cooled back off or something. It, I don't know. It does, it, it reminds me of a chocolate, a fancy chocolate milk that you would get, like, you wouldn't make yourself at home, but you would get you it like... You might go to a restaurant. Go in a restaurant, yeah. And if you a ordered a specialty, yes, a, like a coffee shop. A specialty chocolate milk. I can see That's that. That's what that reminds yeah, me of. Yeah, or a hot chocolate, except it's cold. Um, more chocolate milk to me than, than yeah. yeah. I, I really am stuck on the chocolate milk thing. And I can see that. It's it's uh it's but like it a, is very rich. it's a richer yes it's a richer chocolate milk. Mm -hmm. and there uh, as far as the cookies go, um, you don't. It's not like you're getting. It's not like cookies and cream where you're getting cookies throughout the entire yeah. thing. No, I just got a few bites of them. Just cookies. a couple of cookies. Uh, the, the caramel too. It's it's caramel. You get, um, and there was a little caramel, but it's not like, it's, this is not a caramel flavored it, it's, ice cream. And it's not as much as this one. It's, no. it's a little more spread out. The, the majority of this is the chocolate. Mm -hmm. That's what you're getting. Yeah. It's a really, it's, it's, it's nice when you do hit the pockets of stuff because it, it adds a little bit of different texture and flavor, but that's not what the, um, the focus is on. I think the emphasis on, on this is that dark chocolate. Yeah. Um, and, or the, it, not dark chocolate, but the deep chocolate. Yeah, it is definitely a different flavor. It's one mm -hmm. I don't I don't hate it, but I I don't it's necessarily not love it either. It's just it's one of those things like it's good. Um, I would eat it, but I go out of my way to choose it. I don't know. Well, no, it's way, so different. That I would rather have the caramel over this. This one. So normally, just like with anything else, when you buy something, you want to always go to your favorite. Why would you pick something that's your second favorite when you could be eating your favorite right. all the time? That doesn't even make sense. So Unless knowing you get tired and want to mix things up every right, time. which I wouldn't. I would always. <laughs> want, not that kind of no, <laughs> I'm not. I just I stick with what I know. So for me, that would definitely uh, be yeah. the dulce de leche. Yeah, I agree. I, I would get that one too. I, I don't. I don't hate this one. It's just uh, some people may not like it, and and others will love it. I think it's one of those love hate kind of things. I do I like it a lot. It. It's yeah. just out of these two, yeah. I'm gonna go. I think the dulce de leche is also sweeter. Oh yeah, it comes across as a sweeter flavor. Yeah, there's nothing absolutely nothing wrong with that chocolate. It's just something. Um, it's just a different chocolate flavor than than you normally get. Exactly. It's different. And so I hope you enjoyed the video. You'll have to let us know if you see these. Like I said, we receive them free and you'll have to let us know if you see them in the store near you. They're made um, in California. I would assume, of course, you know what that gets you, but I would assume uh, that you would see them in California first before you would see them on the East Coast. Uh, so if, if you've already seen these out at the store, you'll have to let us know what store specifically, like did you see it at a, a Ralph's or a Hy-Vee or where did you see it? Uh, but I'll have pictures for you at the end and thanks for watching.